the first thing is like the pencil. This is not a pencil, of course, this is a tablet I'm using. But the pencil, it's about the feeling of the pencil on the paper. That's the most important thing. So you may have to spend some time kind of warming up to get to the point where you're synchronized with what is happening physically. It all needs to be synchronized. The arm wants to move in a certain direction. That's based on the laws of physics. Because once you start moving, then you have to keep moving in that direction. You just go in that direction. Everything has to go in a direction. You should spend time doing this, <clears throat> like a lot of time. To the point where everything you're doing is synchronized, where you're with the tip of the pencil, no matter where it goes, no matter what happens, You're just always with it. Always, always, always. Totally, completely with it. Just like you're moving, just like I'm moving my hand, going back and forth, just moving. And that's it. Can somebody tell me if my face is obscured by the comments or the, the, the text? or the whatever is written down there if if you can see the top well you 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 can see the whole picture should be in the in the thing but i want to know if my face is visible so it looks like i'm just scribbling and in some sense i am but it's about getting into that flow. Remember when you were a kid and you used to doodle all the time? You have to get back into that space where it's really just fun to do it. It's just fun to draw. It's not about what it looks. I don't care what it looks like. Who cares? This isn't even drawing. I'm just I'm just having fun with it. I'm just making a mess. I just kind of got really interested in the, in making this area here darker. Why? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's just interesting to me. Like, it feels good to just, like, kind of fill in this part. You can make it bigger, make it darker, whatever. See, I'm not drawing. This is not drawing. This is just making marks on the paper. And then you get rid of all of it, because it doesn't matter. You can try a different color. Why not? You see, I'm doing a lot of circles. Why am I doing circles? Because circles are, they feel good to draw because you're making this rotational movement with your arm. Really, really, really important that what you're doing actually feels good to you. Otherwise, Whatever you draw is not going to look good. It's not going to be right. So you may have to spend time, like actual time, getting into that. This is slowing down my computer because the I'm trying to do a million things with it. Hmm. Well, I wonder if that's going to be a problem. I may have to lower the resolution of the image. I think I might do that. I might do that right now. 
because I think it'll it'll sl it'll be faster. Okay. See, it's it's fun. Okay. This is we don't learn this in the West. We don't learn how to have fun with anything because it's all about like doing it right. I, I don't I, I I shouldn't be saying that stuff so much. I I'm, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to rein myself in there because when I say that kind of thing, it sends the wrong signal, the wrong message. The real point that I'm trying to make is that you want to take the pencil and you want to move it across the paper for about 10 to 15 minutes, and you want to try to tune in and synchronize with what your body is doing. Basically ignore what it looks like. That's not the point of this particular exercise. The point of this particular exercise is that you're just being with the tip of the pencil as it moves across the paper, however it moves. You wanna separate yourself from it. You're not the one doing it. Your body is doing it. The laws of physics are doing it. It doesn't matter what's doing it. It's just doing it. The pencil itself is doing it. You're not the one doing it. If you think you're doing it, you're going to have big problems. Get to the point where you can just watch it dispassionately. I'm going to stop blaming teachers all the time. <clears throat> Not because I don't think they are to blame. Because they are. <clears throat> but the problem is that I end up attracting people who don't actually want to learn how to learn things. They just want to blame teachers, which isn't the point. I have no interest in blaming teachers. That's just a means to an end. That just makes it easier for me to separate myself from my performance when I know it's the teacher's fault and not my fault. I don't mean to send the wrong signals. That's very, very unskilled of me. Bad Michael. Failing grade for Michael. Yes, I do believe in failing grades. I think grading should be pass-fail, and I think most people should fail. So what we're doing here, for anybody who just came in, this is, it's an exercise where all I'm doing is just letting my mind synchronize up with the movement of the pencil on the paper. That's it. There's no concern about what I'm drawing. I don't even know. I don't care. All I'm doing is just fooling around with it while I'm paying close attention to the physical sensations. Very physical things here. Okay. That's the point. That's the point is it's entirely physical. Whatever, I'm just picking different colors just because it's catching my interest. It doesn't mean anything. These shapes don't mean anything. This is not about the appearance. That's just something to occupy me while I'm letting my mind sync up with the movement of the pencil. To the point where every time I move the pencil, I know I'm moving it and I'm okay with it. Bye-bye, all of this stuff. There it goes. It makes me think of these Buddhist monks that make these mandalas that they, out of sand, they're really elaborate. They spend forever doing this stuff. It takes ages. And then once they are done, they just throw it all away. They don't need it to be anywhere. It doesn't matter. Let me see if I can close one of these. 
It's like it's slowing down my computer and I don't know why. This I'm using Krita, which is a really awesome program. And it lets you do all kinds of painting, very elaborate painting. It has all sorts of tools. You can do absolutely anything with it. And it's very realistic. Like you can do, um, I'm using a brush here. I don't know if you can see, you're not gonna be able to see it on the screen, but there's different kinds of brushes. Like this one is a little bit more, looks like another kind of, looks like another kind of brush. And you've got like some other kind of thing. Like look at that, isn't that cool? And it's got Like you've got some kind of watercolor thing. You can use different colors. Look at that. Watercolor brush. And you can do, you can, um, you can blend it. Watch this. Look at this. Make this bigger. Look at that. It looks just like paint. Look at that. I'm just blending here. It's a bit slow. If I had a faster computer, this would be faster. I have the resolution set pretty high because I want it to look good. So you, you kind of feel your, you kind of, am I really drawing? Yeah, this is drawing. This is drawing. Here it is. I'm doing it camera keeps falling because I have this camera that's taped together with scotch tape and doesn't the thing that holds it so that it stays in place is broken okay everything slows down what if I can do another make it even huh Well, see, everything slows down so much, too much. Why is this? Why is this? What do I do? If I make that smaller, I see, I think it's ignore. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on one second here. I'm going to try to. That's way too big. So, let's see. 40. Oh, I can just do anything I want. So let's do let's do eight, twenty. Uh, let's see, sixty-five. No, three hundred. Let's try that. Oh, look at that! You're seeing the ceiling now. Wonderful. Okay, so the original tool that I was using was the basic six details it's called. Okay. Okay, so now we got some, we got some, we're kind of warmed up at this point. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to something else. It's going to be a little bit more, a little bit more, um, they've got this reference image tool that you can put an image right there. Let's see. So I'm going to try to find an image. Let's just do this one's kind of funny looking. We're going to do this one. Say, let's see, copy image. Um, paste. Okay, so that, there's an image for us. So Look, the next thing you want to do is this gesture. So everything that you do is like it moves, everything moves, everything does. 
and what you really it's 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 just about the direction that things go in okay what the pencil does is going to do what the thing is doing the thing that you're drawing you got to do in that direction you have to become the thing you're drawing you have to feel it in your body this is something now you can watch a lot of videos about gesture drawing and they're going to give you all kinds of very specific things to do you should ignore most of that advice because you're not at that point yet the point that you're at if you've never done that kind of thing and even if you have done that kind of thing is the point of where you need to become a total idiot you total beginner where you don't know anything and when you don't know anything there's no preconceptions and you just do it you just do it that's all why is it total and you can do these over and over again see look you see how there's like this cord this cord here I can't draw here but on the whatever this thing's called the hair dryer there's a cord that goes down okay so what I was doing is I was drawing it going up but maybe it goes down I don't know so you decide it's not an intellectual thing it's a thing where you have to kind of do it you feel it and then you do it there's no right or wrong to this what's important is that you put in the many many hours that you need to put in in order to do it in order to you're trying to develop a certain way of looking at this okay you see how our hair goes all over so the hair just goes and the pencil moves in the direction that the hair is moving you can go fast or you can go slow it doesn't matter what it looks like don't don't waste your time with that don't waste your time trying to make it look right that's totally unimportant it's a complete waste of your time And you can do it try to get every single detail every detail that you see in the in the the reference every one of them see if you get all of it the movement of everything it don't it's the more it looks like a scribbled mess the better because you're really training your brain to do a certain kind of thing here you're training yourself to be able to see it as a whole as just one movement as just one energetic impulse that goes wherever it goes and you don't want to linger in one spot and you want to look at the relationships between absolutely everything if anybody has any questions let me know See, there's like forms, there's shapes, there's there's big structures and small things. All of that stuff is three dimensional. It's two dimensional. And at the same time, you're still letting yourself synchronize. Is my picture in the way? You can draw two-dimensional shapes too, which is a good idea because everything, even, even, how about this? We're going to do triangles. Everything is going to be a triangle, okay? So the whole thing is a triangle. And then you have another triangle here. I wish I could draw on the thing itself. I don't care what this looks like. I have not a slightest concern about that. What I'm doing is I'm drawing triangles. As I see them, I'm drawing them, letting my mind sync up with that particular shape, anywhere it might be. You can draw squares, triangles, any two-dimensional shapes. Now you see, you want to try to see everything in the in the most in the biggest terms possible okay that slows down 
Okay. It's slowing down. Okay. Everything is going to look that way. Totally, totally, and completely. Now, what you're used to doing in school is you're used to, when the teacher gives you an instruction, you're used to making sure that you do it. Okay, but see, you're not good enough at it to do it. So that doesn't matter. What matters is only that you try to do it. Doesn't matter whether you do it or not. You can try drawing shadows. You can draw dark shapes. Set. Okay, so like her hair is like this dark shape. You know, you've got. You decide. You decide where those dark shapes are. Again, you're training yourself in a certain way. You can draw light shapes. You're training yourself to look. You don't even. I'm. I'm. You know. I'm using the tablet here so that you can see it. You don't even have to even draw. This is only an exercise in how to look at things, and you just see it, and you move your hand along with it as you see it. So your hand is recording what your eyes are doing. That's why it's very important to synchronize everything. A lot of people suck at drawing, not because they suck at drawing, but because they don't allow themselves to get synchronized like that, and then they they get flustered that. You know, it might be that they're too good at drawing. It might be it might mean that they see things that, but they're not they're not moving their hand fast enough, perhaps, to capture everything that they see. They say, "Well, I don't, I don't, you know, I can't do." The proportions are all off or something. But no, I mean, you're probably you're probably because you're so upset. You know, you're so traumatized by what happened in school. You probably are. Uh, not allowing yourself to just to trust your instincts and just to move to move your body that in the way that it has to move in order to to do it you have to move your body okay it's not an intellectual thing it's like you actually have to move it you have to move the body that's how you draw okay it's like there's no other way to do it synchronize what with what you're trying to synchronize your mind but let, let me even just say this way. You're trying to synchronize your eyes with your hands. Okay? That's not easy. Because we're taught. Well, look, it doesn't matter why, okay? Like, you, you got to try it and see. I mean, I have my theories as to why. But you have to discover that on your own anyway. So shapes are everything. All the forms are three-dimensional. Okay, so we can try that. We can try understanding the three-dimensional nature of everything. Okay, so you've got this this hair dryer here, which is like if you take the pencil, the tip of the pencil, and you put it right into the center of the form. Okay, and it's choppy and slow on my thing. I don't know why. I don't like that one bit. You know what? I'm just going to actually close some of my tabs in Chrome because I bet that's not helping things. Do I have anything else open? I don't think so. Um, I should close these tabs also. Okay. I guess that's the best I can do right now. So you take the tip of the pencil and you put it right into the center of the, the hair dryer. Let's let's make let's magnify the hair dryer. Okay, so the tip of the pencil is going right in there. Okay, and then as and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically sculpt it from the inside out. Okay, so as I move, I'm going to just move the pencil around in like a circle, and and as I do that, like I'm 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 moving it out, and I'm like just just getting it, getting the whole thing. Okay. Like, as the pencil moves around in space, it leaves behind a trail of hairdryer atoms. It just does that. Okay, and you move it out to the surface of the thing. It's entirely a physical, like, physical, mental kind of exercise where you're just connecting all of it together. It doesn't matter at all. 
Now what I'm doing, I'm making it very localized right here. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the, my attention and putting it on the point that I'm, that I'm working on. The proportions of the thing that I'm drawing might be off because of that, because I'm not drawing the shapes. I'm not drawing, now this thing is like, it's a cylinder of some kind, okay? And if I were to draw a cylinder, then I, would draw, I wouldn't draw the, the points. I would draw like a cylinder is gonna be like a circle, okay? So you have like a circle and then like another circle and another circle, okay? It's like an infinite number of circles. That's a cylinder, okay? It's an infinite number of circles all lined up like that. Now this thing is not, it's not, they're not just plain circles, okay? Because you get like the diameter of the circle is gonna change as you go, like at the end, it's like there's one kind of circle and then over here, there's like a bigger circle and then it kind of goes down a little bit more, you know? And then it kind of goes like that. So you've got this, okay? And you see, I'm drawing circles here. I'm not, I'm not drawing lines, I'm not drawing points. I'm only drawing the circles and the thing is lagging. So it's kind of distracting to me here. But that's, that's what you would do. And that's gonna give you something that's gonna be a little bit more accurate because, you know, of course you're drawing the thing. You're drawing something that's more related to the, the, the sort of geometrical structure of the thing. Okay, but but what we do up here, what I, what I was doing up here, and it doesn't matter where it is, it's just you just you're just drawing one point at a time because you want to take your attention and you want to put it into a little tiny dot so that you really feel that thing in every single point that it occupies in space, and that that that's crazy, you know, it's totally crazy. You know, if you were to draw, now this thing, like this thing is a very simple geometrical shape, but if you were to draw something like, you know, well, let's say you want to draw the hair. I mean, all of those individual hairs, it's the same thing. Okay, you've got, like, look how many there are. I don't know how many hairs do you even have on your head. There's got to be thousands. I don't know how many. But you would really want to take that pencil and look, if you really want to comprehend it, you could, yes, you could still look at it geometrically, but you don't have to and, and, you know, as an exercise, it's worth not doing that. It's worth, it's worth taking a pencil and really, really just like being there with every single, you know, as you're moving along and you can go very slowly with this, extremely slowly. And just, you're just moving it around and then you're just having this tactile experience in basically in your own mind, sort of joined up with the tip of the pencil and the thing that you're drawing it's all merges together into one experience and never ever ever are we talking here about what it looks like on the paper because that's not the point you know like how do you make it how do you draw i i don't know i'm not that good at drawing you know how do you draw is you just you take the paper and you take the pencil and you make it look right you just you just move the pencil on the paper until it looks right you know you just make marks on the paper like you make the paper darker in the places where it needs to be darker that's how you do it it's not it's, it's nothing really mysterious about that so the 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 question is not how to draw the question is how to train your perceptions such that you are seeing the things that need such as, such that when you look at the paper you know which parts of the paper need to be darker and which ones don't like that's that's what it, that's the idea okay it's all about training your perception this is the same you know in music it's the same thing you're doing the same exact thing I have much more experience with music teachers than with art teachers because I never I never took an art class or anything since I was probably 13 years old except for stuff I've seen on YouTube you know but when it comes to music it's I mean it's crazy what these people are doing the demands that they're putting on students who don't they don't have any perceptual ability and yet they're expected to do i mean it's it's insane you can't you know i had a music teacher who said you can't play better than you can hear okay 
I didn't understand what he meant at the time, I don't think. But that's what he meant. Obviously. And it's true. You just can't. So it makes no sense to expect that you can do it. You can't draw better than you can see. It just, it makes no sense. Like, why would you think you could? Just because somebody told you that you ought to? Like, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. I hope I'm preaching to the choir, because I'm not going to try to convince anybody of anything I'm saying. That's ridiculous. If you don't already agree with me, then we're not going to get along. But if you want to argue with me, so you can go fast or slow. This kind of looks like Trump's hair, I think, over here. I don't know. See, the, the hair is so complex, and there's all these shapes in it. Now, I, you know, I have this kind of certain kind of mind where I get captivated by all that stuff. So somebody who's like a really good commercial artist is probably not going to get as captivated as I am, because they're going to get captivated by what they know is going to make it look exactly right. But I'm just a little kid. No one's going to buy my drawings. I'm just scribbling. This is fun. Same thing happens in music. Look, I have a master's degree in music, so I'm qualified to talk about that. And I will. I have no ability in music because I'm just, I don't have that kind of personality. I don't have that kind of personality that's like, well, we're going to make it right because because I ought to because I'm conscientious worker I'm not a conscientious worker I'm totally immature totally disrespectful I have no respect for anything I don't it was Beethoven's birthday 250th birthday this year well last year I guess in December I don't think they know when Beethoven was born exactly. It was like December 16th, 17th, 18th, somewhere around there. 1770. I always remember it was 1770 because the number 1770, it's 1770. And it has two sevens in a row. Just like Beethoven has two E's in a row. That's how I remember it. So it was Beethoven's birthday and I didn't care. I like Beethoven. I don't have a problem with Beethoven, you know. He's one of my favorite composers. But I don't care. Whatever. He's dead, you know. Composers tend to die. But in the world of classical music, they don't they never die. They become deified. Okay, so that's hair, you know. I'm just drawing points, points. There's one point at a time. You see, space is full of points. Some Space is like, sometimes it's dense with points, sometimes it's not as dense, because that's what it does. You know, matter does that. It kind of coalesces into points, into, into structures, and it fills up the space. Or sometimes the space is just an empty lattice of points where there's no actual density. That happens too. Okay, now I'm talking about your perceptual comprehension of it. It went through a weird Beethoven thing, yeah. I don't know how many teenagers go through a Beethoven thing. It's a little bit nerdy, I think. So that's hair. You know, so many details, like look, the, the robe, like look at all the details there. I mean, look at this. You just, you know, you want to let yourself get captivated by it, okay? Let yourself get entranced by it. That's the idea. 
you just take the tip of the pencil and move it. You can't even see because my head's in the way. Should I move my head or do you like to look at my head? Well, I can move myself. I can move myself off into the, into the corner here. Look at that. I'm just, or maybe I should go up here. Or how about, can you see me? Like, I don't know, because when I look at my phone, I just see the the words, the comments are obstructing my my face. Where's the, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so you just draw it. You just take the, again, the tip of the pencil. This is called contour drawing, okay? So contour drawing is where you're doing that. You're taking the tip of the pencil and you're moving it along the thing, okay? Now you may want to start, you know, you can tr try doing um, on the edges of the thing, okay? Now when beginners start drawing, what they always do is they draw a lot of lines, okay? Space or real forms in real life have no lines. There's no lines anywhere. Lines are something that your mind is adding to it, okay? You're looking at the thing and you're thinking that there's lines here, you know? Like, I'm just like, you look at the, the robe here, okay? It goes down here. That's a line. It looks like a line. And the reason it looks like a line is because you know, you know that there is, like, you're just, you're just processing it that way, okay? Like, okay, visually, it looks like a line. But there's no, yeah, I'm under the chat, so I don't want to be there. I don't want to be under the chat. I want to be above the chat. So I'm going to put myself, oh, come on. This is really annoying. I'm going to put myself, whoa, where did I, oh my God. Oh, I see. See, my mouse is competing with my tablet now because I have the stylus. Okay. I'm up here somewhere. Oh, hold on. So real professional operation we've got here. So what was I saying? I don't know. This is called, oh yeah, lines, right. So the lines, there's no lines. You can't see the thing because my head is in the way. There's no lines anywhere, okay? It's just, it's not, that's not happening. You think there is. There's not. It doesn't work that way. What if I do that? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's no lines anywhere. No lines at all. There's an edge, okay? An edge where two things might meet each other, you know? So like you've got, I've got my hands. You see my fingers here? Like they're touching, okay? There's an edge, but there's no line, okay? If I, you know, move it, like where's the line? Like there's no line anywhere. And sometimes you think there's a line. And if you draw it as if there's a line, I mean, sometimes, yeah, make a line, okay? Why not? But the, you don't always wanna draw lines. Because that's not always the right thing to do. If you're always insist on drawing lines for everything, then you're going to look like you're drawing cartoon characters all the time. That's not the point. But do it too, because it can it can help you to like to see where the edges are. Because what you're really drawing, when you do realistic drawing, you're really trying to draw forms. You're not trying to draw lines. You're not trying to draw. You're trying to draw forms, okay? Which are three dimensional objects, always three dimensional. So if I were to draw my own head, because I can see it, let me see if I can turn this thing off. When you're drawing like a form, okay? So this is my head, say, okay? Like my head, okay? I, again, like I take the pencil, put it in the center of the thing, okay? The center of my head, like right, right in here somewhere, like in the middle. Okay, and then you just kind of like move it outward because you're drawing a three-dimensional shape. Okay, that's what you want to do. 
This is so much more important to get all this stuff than it is to get anything resembling like correctness of anything, okay? You want to be able to see everything. Like, look, everything is going to be like, see it in terms of cylinders because you can, you know, cylinders and spheres and like basic primitive shapes like that. Okay, those things are going to be like really helpful because this is not about style. Obviously, there's no style here at all. I'm being deliberately messy with this because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to emphasize that this is about developing perceptual abilities. Forms are all composed of, well, they have a mass, they have surfaces. The light is like highlights and shadows and stuff is based on the form, okay? So when you draw something like you're not draw you're not it's not like you're a photocopier okay you're not just drawing you're not just taking the thing that you see and just copying it onto the paper what you're doing is you're like a 3d rendering program that takes sort of a description of the thing a geometrical understanding of it and it turns it into it creates it, it recreates the thing like if I gave you a schematic for it and then you had to make a sculpture out of it, that's what you're doing when you draw. When you do realistic drawing. But really, I mean, that's what you do with any kind of art or music. It's the same thing. You have a description of it, then it's your job to recreate it. You're not, you're not copying it. You're creating something new that's based on a description that you received. Okay. This is self-portrait. And you notice I'm not erasing anything. That's why it looks so good. But you could erase. You know, you could, and then you get some... You have more capabilities there because now instead of just simply now watch I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and now now what I'm gonna do is let's say let's say I want to draw so the, the lighter shapes okay and these are like you can think of it too it's two-dimensional and it's also three-dimensional Now I know that you, again, I'm preaching to the choir. I know that. Because I know that there are some people who would, they would be listening to this and they'd be saying, well, they'd be, they'd be preoccupied with something else other than what I'm doing here. But what I'm doing is very specific. I'm not gonna entertain people who think otherwise. Because this is, You see, so what you see what I'm doing here? I'm just taking it's black now. Okay, it was white before, and now it's black. What I'm doing, and again, I'm just taking the, the pencil and just moving it, moving moving it along the shapes. Okay, and I'm I'm sculpting them. I'm filling them out based on my three dimensional understanding of this. This looks like Hitler, doesn't it? That's not good. Sending the wrong message. You know, and then you can just, you can make it, you can make it. So, you know, I'm just alternating here between, so it keeps slowing down. I'm alternating be between white and black. 
as I want to draw shadow shapes or as I want to draw highlight shapes. It's everything's slowing down. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because I'm also streaming at the same time. So I'm going to go back to the black here and it's like, so you have these glasses say, right? It's like, you just draw it, whatever. Like it doesn't matter. Okay. And it's like my eyes over here too. So it's like, I, you just make it darker because it's darker. Okay. So it's like you put more dark stuff there, like whatever. People take this stuff so seriously. Again, perceptual ability is what we're training here. You see the whole side of my face is, is dark. Okay. The whole side of it is. Oh, whoa. So it's like there's like dark stuff that goes here, you know? Because you make this this form and it's dark. Like don't make it light. You think, well, yeah, but my skin is lighter than my hair, but it like doesn't matter because it's all dark. It's just dark. Okay? So just like make it dark. You know, part of this is that when when you're drawing something, like you want to make because you you're trying to render your own understanding of it. This is called making an artistic statement. Okay? You have to do that. You can't just be like, well, but it doesn't look that way, therefore. No, because that's called being a total idiot. Like you're just you're not doing anything. You're just being a good student. That doesn't mean anything. Like you have to actually make a statement. It's a statement. Which means everything you say has to be emphatic. You know, once you're a real master, then you can try working, work, you know, dealing with nuance and subtlety. But when you're when you're learning something, no, you have to be like really bold with everything you say. Same thing in music. I'm telling you. Do I sound defensive? I'm very defensive about this because those people are idiots. I want to I want to say less of that stuff, but at the same time I, I I need to say it because it's helpful and it helps people. I think it does help people because it's like our own secret language. You know, we can talk about our own horrible experiences with horrible people, and it gives us something to connect over. You know. You know how it works, you know how that is. I don't care what this looks like at all. Look. You know, I'm just alternating between just putting, you know, just putting dark stuff there where I think it should be dark and just putting light stuff where I think it should be light. I'm being very lazy about this, like I'm just really just like goofing off. It doesn't matter if you put the wrong, you know, you make some wrong move, who cares? Like, who cares? It's just like totally irrelevant. Is it, can you see, can you see the, I wonder, I wonder how many people are here. I think, I don't think it's very many. I don't know. That's slowing down again. So it's too slow. I, I don't I don't know why it's so slow. I'm also trying to record the video at the same time because Instagram isn't going to record this. Instagram isn't going to save this, even though they said they would. They said that they would. You know, all my lives would be saved for 30 days. Then they just took that away without any warning. Instagram is like I I don't even know. Like I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. I've, I've never experienced this. I've, I've been on the internet for a long time. I've never experienced the level of just having to totally just give everything over to like all my dignity to, to some I, I, you know, some big company, some big corporation. I'm gonna start sounding like a communist. This is not communist drawing. 
this is capitalist drawing because in America we're capitalists yeah America America's the best. It's the best country on earth. That's what I learned in school anyway. I don't know. I'm not really into politics. I don't care. It's just slowing down too much right now. I don't know if it's maybe because there's like a million undo levels that I have. But see, then sometimes it speeds up. I don't know. So in any case, look, I'm getting a little tired of this. I don't want to continue this too much longer. Because whatever. What do you mean? What? Socialist? What? Katie says socialist. What does that mean? So this is this is drawing, you know? You just do it. Okay, so if you don't find this fun, then like it doesn't this is there's no there's no hope for you. There's no help for you at all. You know, you have to find it fun to just do this, to just do whatever. You just do whatever you do, and you do it. Whatever, I don't care. I'm not sitting here trying to make it look any certain way. All I'm doing is just taking the pencil, I'm just going over, using black, then using white, then using black, then using white. It's just, I'm just goofing off. Like, there's nothing, I'm just experiencing the picture, and I'm just letting the pencil record my own experiences as I experience it. That's it. That's it. That's all you do. Super easy. If you find this to be difficult, you're doing it wrong because it's, there's nothing hard about this. You, all I'm doing is just, as I said, I'm just looking at the thing, at my picture, and I'm just moving the pencil as I look at it. Okay, so if you're like, but I can't, it's too hard. It's not, I mean, what, what's hard? It's hard to look at it? It's hard to move the pencil? No, none of that's hard. You're misunderstanding it if you think this is hard. No, 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 I'm not good at this. You just do it. You gotta do it. You have to, I put a lot of hours into this. This is not, this is not, you know, I have some experience with this, but, but I'm not good at this. But every time I do it, I get a little bit better because I see things I didn't see before. So don't let my, don't let whatever you perceive as being my own level of skill, don't let that discourage you. You know, you got to do it yourself. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions before we call it a night? Any other comments? Any other complaints? Is anybody offended by what I said? Does anybody think that America is not the best country on earth? Because if so, I'm going to have to refer you to my fifth grade music teacher, Mrs. Freeman, who assured me that America is the greatest country on earth. That's where I got that from, so gonna have to take it up with her. Okay. Okay, thanks for thanks for watching. I think you should start drawing. Wait. See the thing is like look, you gotta understand is that if you're leaving comments on an Instagram live, you should know that the comments that 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 the you should know that what you are seeing the video that you're seeing has a delay and you should know that when so that so by the time you comment and i see your comment so if i just see a comment that says yes i have no idea what it what it refers to because it's probably in reference to something i said two minutes ago so even if you typed it right after you heard me say it it's not right after i actually said it Africa is not a country. Africa is a collection of countries or a continent. 
That's probably a better way to describe it. There's no country called Africa. Contrary to popular belief. I know a lot of people don't know the difference. But really, what is a country anyway? You know, a continent is like a geometrical, or not a ge whatever you call it, geographical landmass. It's something that is there. It's like part of the earth. But a country is something that human beings invented so that we could say, I'm in this country, I'm from this country, you're not from this country, you're a foreigner. I'm I'm on the, I'm one of the in group. You're one of the out group. So that's why we invented countries because we want to be able to draw lines between people. But the Earth doesn't care about that. They doesn't know anything about that. So continents are a totally different thing. Okay. Is this the draw? No, this is not drawing for socialists. No, no, that's the this is the wrong class. You are in the wrong class if you're looking for drawing for socialists. But I do understand the confusion because sometimes sometimes things get a little bit I don't know. Sometimes things can get a little bit sometimes I get angry at at, at corporations, it's true. You know? I get angry at everybody. Because again, this is not, you know, contrary to popular belief, once again, I am not, I'm not who you think I am. I'm not actually a member of the alt-right. Get away for like 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how long of a delay there is. I think it's a pretty long delay. It's probably at least, yeah, it's probably 20 seconds or so. So you just, you just do it. This is not, I don't care what this looks like. You, you don't want to be so precious with it. It's like not the point. It doesn't matter. Like this doesn't matter. It's just whatever. You know, it's just like I'm talking. Can I learn to draw using socialist pencils? What kind of drawing implements do I need? You need official capitalist pencils absolutely must have those socialist pencils do not they don't work as well you need like a real good like capitalist pencils or you can use one of these drawing tablets that's kind of cool too i think that's from china though that's maybe not quite as capitalist as i would like i kind of prefer to have made in America, but we don't make electronics in America anymore, so that's not going to happen. Yes, right, the layers, that's the thing. That that changed the way that I look at drawing when I, when I realized that you could do it all in layers. That's the way to do it, okay? It's, it, it, it changes your life. I'm looking for a tool that will let me smudge this a little bit, but I don't know. Like a... Um, This is a lot of fun to do with paper, like with a real pencil on paper. But again, this program is a lot of fun. It's called Krita, K-R-I-T-A. And it can, it can simulate pencils, paint, ink, all kinds of things. You know, and just kind of blur it, blend it. Oh, I think I disconnected.